Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to use Quaderno with MemberPress. You may have 99 problems, but with the Quaderno MemberPress integration, taxes just ain't one of them. Quaderno is a leading tax calculation service that automates and handles a lot of tax needs for businesses. There's not much in this world that's more dreadful than the tax collector, and by integrating with Quaderno, you won't have to worry about it on your MemberPress business. Okay, so here I have my WordPress dashboard open, and then my Quaderno account logged in here. So to get started calculating taxes with Quaderno, first you need to install the Quaderno add-on. From the WordPress dashboard, go to MemberPress and Add-ons. And then find Quaderno, and then click to activate the add-on. Once that's done, go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Taxes tab. And then click Enable Tax Calculations. And then enable Quaderno. Next, you need to paste your Quaderno API key and URL. So go to your Quaderno account, and then click this avatar icon here on the top right, and then go to API keys. First, copy the private key. And then go back to the settings, and then paste it next to API key. And then go back to Quaderno, copy the API URL, and then back in the settings, paste it here and then click Update Options to save. So now, MemberPress is connected to your Quaderno account. It'll calculate the correct tax for memberships based on the customer address and your Quaderno settings. One important thing you want to make sure that you have set up properly in Quaderno is your jurisdictions. So back here, if you go to Settings and Jurisdictions, you can see and add your jurisdictions here. And once they're added, Quaderno will add all taxes for that jurisdiction automatically. And these taxes will apply to your site for all future payments. And you can see here that it says, list all tax jurisdictions where you're registered for tax collection, rather than the countries where you sell products or services. And then you can click here for more information about what jurisdictions that you should set up. So for the purposes of this video, I have my jurisdiction set to Serbia. And then if you go to tax rates, you can see and edit your values here. So be sure to see Quaderno's resources on setting up taxes and jurisdictions for more information on what options are best for you. Also, back in the member press settings, you'll notice this setting for prices entered with tax. So here you'll choose how you want to collect taxes. If you set this to exclusive, a customer will pay the price of your membership plus the price of the tax. And with inclusive, the customer only pays the price of the membership, but the taxes will still be charged. See your support docs page on the Taxes tab for more information about this. And then one other thing to note, back in Quaderno, if you go to Settings and Preferences, you can set your product type and tax class here and get more information about what this means. Quaderno uses these to calculate taxes. So be sure to go through Quaderno's resources about how to set all this up before you get selling on your MemberPress site. So you can override these per membership separately too. So if I go back to WordPress, and then I go to a membership, say my monthly, for example, and then go to the Advanced tab, you can change the product type to Service or Good, and then tax codes to whatever you need. But for mine, I'm just going to leave everything set as it is in Quaderno. So to see what this looks like with MemberPress, I'll go ahead and open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So it's like I'm a brand new customer visiting my site. And then I'll go to sign up, and then click on a membership. Then I'll start signing up with some fake testing data. And since I only have my jurisdiction for Serbia for this example, my test user here will be from Serbia. And then once I enter an address, you can see it calculates the taxes and then adds them to the order. And again, it does it this way because I have exclusive taxes enabled in the settings. And then I'll finish the sign up with some test payment information. And then I'll sign up. And then I see the payments complete. And then you can see the cost of the membership plus the tax. So now I'll close this window, and then I'll go back to my Quaderno account. 
And then I'll go to Documents, Sales, and Invoices. And then you can see the transaction here. And if I click on it, I can see information about it here. I can download and view the PDF invoice. And I can send it off if I need to. And you can take it a step further and automatically send out these invoices to your customers. So to do that, if you go to Settings and Preferences, under Billing, enable Auto Send All Automatic Invoices and Credit Notes. And then here you can also choose to attach all invoices as PDFs in your emails. So you can send out your invoices and handle all that automatically. Cool. So now everyone's all tax compliant and can rest easy knowing that's one less thing you gotta worry about. See, that wasn't so bad. You've now seen how to use Quaderno with MemberPress. Again, check out our support docs for more information and be sure to check out Quaderno's extensive documentation for everything you need to know about setting up the platform. And be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks for all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.